Good morning, App Properties. Thank you for joining us on this sunny first day of May. I'm Amy Kaur, and I've got Kevin Van Eck with me. Ugh, let me do that again, sorry. <clears throat> Good morning, App Properties. Thank you for joining us on this sunny first day of May. I'm Amy Kaur, and I've got Kevin Van Eck with me live from the Peoria office. Grab your mug, and let's jump into another episode of Coffee with Amy and Kevin. Morning, Kev. Morning, Amy. Uh, it is super sunny here. You can see it's shining through my office, which is cool. It's a good start uh, to the day. So um, if you were able to join us yesterday for our announcement about our May program, do it now. I hope you were. There's a recording on the uh, Agent app that you can check out. But that really wasn't an announcement about what we are going to be doing. So we're going to start in May. And today, coincidentally, is May 1st. So it starts today. Today, we're going to talk about routines. And really, going through the month of May and hopefully beyond, what we're hoping to set up for you is a morning routine. Now, everybody has a different routine that they do already. We're not trying to change the first three hours of every day of your life. But what we are doing is suggesting different things that you can do each morning, taking 30 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe an hour each morning to start your day off right with activities that we know will help you grow your business and improve your personal life as well. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. So he had me do one that I think is extremely important. We're going to talk a little bit about physical activity, uh, and that is getting your body moving, getting out and uh, exercising in some way. Um, if most of you don't know this by now, but I enjoy riding my Peloton, usually in the morning. Um, but it's a way for me to kind of get my mind set because I need to kind of get my endorphins going and flowing so that um, I'm kind of ready for the day. So I really want to encourage all of you to think about your physical activity. What is it that you can, you know, set your mind to do for the month of May? Uh, so one of the commitments I've made, um, and I'm saying it out loud, Kevin, so get ready, is I told myself I'm going to ride every day in the month of May. Um, I usually do a 30 to 45 minute ride, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but it's just something that I decided to set as a goal. It's a little bit scary because I haven't done that yet. Um, but I just encourage all of you, whether you set a goal of getting out a couple times a week for a 30 or 45 minute walk, um, you know, exercise really helps change your mood. And I think it really just just boosts your energy level. So what I also want you to do is share it with me. If you've decided to make some sort of commitment to ride your Peloton, um, get on your treadmill, um, ride your elliptical, or get out and walk, uh, send me a note. Shoot me an email. Send me a text. I want to know what you're doing so that we can all do it together. So let's get out and, as um, Olivia Newton-John would say, let's get physical. Yeah, thanks, Amy. Physical activity is super important, and I think you were talking earlier about endorphins and how it really changes the way that you start your day. So uh, I think that would be great. I'm going to do it as well. I don't have a Peloton, uh, but I will figure out something. Uh, the second thing, we have five things we're talking about today. The first was that physical activity. The second is uh, our gratitude, and we know gratitudes have an impact. We've talked about it many, many times, but I think it's a really important way to start the day because research backs up how effective they are. We've had Sean Aker speak at our expo, and we have the video available on the agent app. Uh, we've seen uh, Neil Pasrika has a ton of TED Talks who talks about the research behind happiness and specifically how gratitude leads to productivity and happiness. And then there's Dan Gilbert. So those are just three examples of it. But the way that we want to start our day and the way that I try to start mine, uh, I'm not 100%. Uh, but I have a log for gratitude where every morning I try to write in at least two things, two unique things, and not slam dunks, meaning I'm happy it's sunny. Uh, two things that I'm really thoughtfully grateful for that day. And it really does start your day off from a positive mindset. I am grateful for Amy. I am grateful for Amy. Um, I know that that's first in line every time, right? No. Um, yes, gratitudes are amazing. And I'm actually having my girls start doing them in the mornings, you know, as we've had to e-learn and we've had some of our obstacles, I've actually found that it has helped to anchor them a bit um, and make sure that they recognize how, you know, grateful they are for their situation, you know, the good and the bad. Um, I want to also talk about motivation. Uh, you know, motivation is, is so important. You know, we have to figure out, we, sometimes we have to dig deep. Right now, we're having to dig deep. You know, we spoke yesterday about the idea that the first 45 days into, um, you know, shelter in place, you know, we kind of had high adrenaline going, but now we're in a little bit of fatigue mode. And here's the thing, it's going to start, the weather's going to start changing, and it's going to get a little bit tougher. So you're going to have to figure out how am I going to get up and motivate myself every day to stay focused and stay on track. 
And you know, what I would encourage you to do is find something to watch um, that you like or find a great book. We're going to have a lot of suggestions over the next few weeks of different things that you can um, look at as far as reading materials that are motivating. But one of the things that I love to do, because I'm going to be honest, I don't always have a lot of time to, to find for myself to capture in a corner and, and be able to read. So when I go out and, and I walk my dog, I'll listen to podcasts. And um, Oprah's got some great ones. She's got some great people. She, it's called uh, Soulful Conversations. And she just has some really um, inspiring people. You hear about their stories. You hear about the things that they've overcome. And for me, I get something out of everything that I can turn around and figure out how can I apply that to my life. So, you know, right now, you get a reset in the month of May. Today's May 1st. Figure out how are you going to motivate yourself for the next 31 days and find the resources, whether it's a book, something you can watch, or like I said, some podcasts. There's some great stuff out there. Yeah, that's great. I love, you know, I love that you mentioned podcasts because a lot of times either people don't, don't like reading, they don't carry around a book. You know, we were joking earlier about moving books around from place to place, expecting that you're going to read them. But having the podcast is great. Also, there's Audible, right? I think that's the Amazon app for uh, books on tape, so to speak. So you can listen to those. Uh, but a suggestion, if you do like reading books, but you just can't find the time, something that someone has said in the past is, you know, just read 10 pages. You know, don't sit down and try and read, you know, 50 pages or a quarter of a book. Sit down and read 10 pages. And the other suggestion that came with that, even if you've read a book in the past, uh, maybe a good way to start the day is to reread a portion of it, because guaranteed you don't remember everything that you read, you know, three, four, five, six years ago. So great suggestion. I think the fourth thing is, uh, and we've talked about this a lot too, are handwritten notes. So starting your day off by writing two handwritten notes a day and really starting your day off, that's a 10 minute activity at most, writing two cards. We have a video on the agent app that talks about exactly how to write handwritten notes. It's about eight minutes long or less. So it's really simple. And I know when we write handwritten cards in the morning, it takes me less than five minutes to do two to five. So taking the time to do that adds into everything you've done up to that point, which is the physical activity, gratitude, doing something motivational, whether it's listening or reading something, and then now writing handwritten notes, whether they're thank yous, congratulations, or just thinking of you notes, doing two a day is going to have a huge impact on how you start your day, but also what happens with your business and relationships moving forward. So, Kevin, you'd be very proud of me. I already rode my Peloton, and here are my two handwritten notes. Already knocked them out this morning. Um, yes, so you can do it. And the thing is, is that I am going to be really honest and tell you all I'm terrible at my handwritten notes because I always plan to do it in the morning, and then I, like all of us, get derailed, and then it's late at night, and, you know, my brain is fried. So, Today, May 1st, you know, I thought, let me try to restructure myself and kind of do over. It's time for you to be able to say all the things that maybe I didn't do so great the last 45 days, the last six months, you know, you kind of get a, a, a do over right now. Um, and so, you know, just, just do it, just create some structure. And if you can do it in the mornings, I really think it's the best time to be able to get focused and kind of have your mind really kind of on the, the task without getting too distracted. Um, the last thing we wanted to talk about and which which I also think is really easy to do and can make you feel real, uh, really accomplished for the day is to make sure to check off those birthdays. You know, every morning uh, you either have it on your CRM, if you're checking your CRM regularly, which I know you all are, it'll have the list of all of your birthday updates, whose birthday it is for that day. So just take that time in the morning, take, you know, 30 minutes, depending on how many people you need to reach out to. And there's a bunch of different ways that you can do it. Uh, my uh, recommendation and what I think is the best is if you have the time, make the phone call. So many people get recognition on Facebook, they get a text message, but so few people actually get a phone call. Um, I would say Thad is one of the very um, few people that I actually get a phone call from on my birthday, um, where, you know, I get a lot of text messages, but make the phone call. People love it. And the fact that you're taking that time out of your day to reach out to them makes it so important. But if you aren't that close with the individual or a call doesn't make sense, you can, um, you can also FaceTime, which is also fun for your very, very close friends and people that you know, um, or you can do this cool thing that Kevin just shared with me. It's called Marco Polo. 
It's kind of like Snapchat, I hear, but you can basically record, uh, you know, as short or as long of a nugget as you want, and then you can send it on to somebody. So it's another kind of cool app that I'm going to check out today. Um, but you can also text or you can even Facebook Messenger. So if it's maybe somebody you don't know as well, um, you can send them something on Facebook. I think it's the least impactful, but I would say I'd rather you do something as opposed to nothing. But birthdays are an easy way to reach out and connect with people authentically, make them feel good about themselves. So make sure you take your, you know, 10 to 30 minutes to go through that every morning as well. Yeah, I think the birthday thing has a huge impact, right? Like you said, nobody calls anybody anymore. And if you're one of the few people that calls or FaceTimes and they pick up, uh, that you stand out. It's memorable, right? As opposed to just another like or an HBB in their Facebook feed. So if you have that, if you have that contact info in that relationship, reach out. And even if you don't feel like you're that close, if you have their contact info and you call, that's one step to becoming closer. So thank you for joining us today. The five things to reiterate, and there, there's a worksheet in this email, a list of the five morning activities for your do it now daily routine that hopefully you will start if you have time today or certainly first thing tomorrow. The five things are some sort of physical activity. The second is writing down two gratitudes, two things that you are truly grateful for that are unique. The third is motivation, reading or listening to something that's motivating. The fourth is two hand, uh, writing two handwritten notes per day. And the fifth would be wishing people happy birthday. So thanks, Amy. Thanks for joining us. Uh, everybody who's watching, have a great weekend. Thanks, guys. Make it a great Friday. Make it a great weekend. And we're super excited to see you on Monday at 9 a.m.